All right, so this is going to be uh, Track Attic Tutorial 2. So let's say uh, I've come back from a run, and I'm actually in my car now. Now, normally I would have my phone on my, my holder that's in my windshield. So uh, right now it's just on my other holder because I don't have my windshield one up. But uh, let's say I came back from the run. This will be similar to what you see when you come back from the run, except it will be the one that says Recording Stopped. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to the file thing here. Now once you open up that, um, you'll probably be in the file system since you've just come back from a run, so you should be inside of this file. But if not, just click on the, the day of that you're running. And this is what you'll see. You'll see your various runs. So let's just say that I just got back running this 47.522. And my previous run was the 46.576. And I want to see what I did um, in the previous run that was faster than the one I just did. So we will start with this one. You can start with either one. doesn't matter. But I'll start with the faster run. So we'll click on that there, and then we'll click on the segment and detail. You don't actually have to click on it. You can just hit detail. But anyway, click on the segment, hit detail. Okay. Now that's going to show uh, that run. Okay. Now I want to compare it to that other run. So tap to compare. Select another session. You'll want to select the exact same one. So select another session. And then we're going to pick that second run that I just, you know, I was saying I want to compare it to now. Um, it's important to remember which run you want to compare it to. It's easier when you just came in from a run and, and you know. But anyway, so this was that second run I want to compare it to. Okay, so there it is. Now, I've got it to where I've selected uh, speed here in this corner. So you can hit that drop down. You can select G-forces or let's see if I can get it to drop down. If I can hit it. Okay, so you can select all these other things um, that you might have had data on. But I, I'm just going to use um, speed zones because that's what I use. So I'm going to use speed zones there. Okay, and then you can take your fingers and you can expand it. So we'll just expand that like this. Here we go. And we will then hit play. Oh, this is hard to do when I'm video. It's there it is. So you can expand it so you can see the two dots. Now, the, remember, the white dot is the faster one because that's the first run we selected. So you can see up there, that's my faster time, and that's my slower time. So uh, then you just hit play. Boop. And... Oh, I missed it. Ah, let's try it again. Play. There we go. So here we go. We take off. Man, blue got me out of the gates fast. I must have had a full charge battery there. So as it's going around this corner, this right-hander, uh, into some offsets. Blue's really got me good, and all of a sudden, look at that. Look at the white dot overtake the blue dot there. Well, hold on a second. Hold on, what did I do? So let's go back. So you just grab this little bar, and you like slide back. Now, you can do this while you're in your car, waiting between runs. What I like to do is I'll jump out of my car, check my tire pressures, um, and then jump back in the car, grab it off the, the magnet mount that I have, and I'll, I'll just quickly look at what I want to see to see where I need to improve on my next run. So... Um, so I can sequence the dots to where they're, they're closer together. So you just hit race from here, and it'll put the dots right beside each other. Boom. Okay, so that's, that's where we're racing from. So same spot on the track. So then we hit, and if they're really far apart, they'll sequence them right next to each other. So we go into this corner, and what you'll see is I take a tighter line on my second run and really save some time, obviously. And I pushed way deep, obviously, on that first run. So uh, ran that tighter line through there and then I can go back and I can watch it in the video like if I want to see what I did on that corner that specific corner and like I said that was probably that was a little bit of an exaggerated corner but I can go back and I can go watch that video and see what I did on that second run that was so good so um I'll hit my back button on my android here I think that's it yes okay and I can go to the video of that segment and I can watch it I can go well, what did I do in that corner? So then I can hit video and, you know, I can, I can go play video and, and, you know, fast forward to where it was on there and I can be like, Oh, what did I do? And go forward and I can, you know, just pull it forward to where that was and I can see exactly what I did. So came through these offsets here, really nice and tight right there. And then, and then came back. So I can check and see what I did in that corner that I can go check the other video and see what I did before. And, what that mistake was this also helps if you dnf of course uh, you can find out you know just by reviewing your data log where did i go off course you can go back in the video and see what cone you missed 
very useful stuff. And then when you get ready to run again, uh, you just hit the back button. Whoop. And hit it again, and it'll take you back out to where you're ready to record your run, um, which will be right there. Boom. So, man, you can stick it back up in your windshield, hit the camera button. I like to hit the camera button so I can see, make sure it's, it's recording video. And then, of course, right before you start your run, you can hit record unless you have that auto start set up. Um, so, anyway, another quick tutorial on how to use Track Attic for autocrossing. I uh, hope that helps you out. hope that helps you improve your run times. And um, if so, hit that like. I'd appreciate it. All right. Y'all have a great evening.